Hey, it's Derek and this is Push Owl in five minutes or less. Let's go. What is it? Push Owl is a web push notification app that adds a new marketing channel to your acquisition, retargeting, and loyalty strategies. You set up an opt-in strategy, typically a pop-up that occurs during a visit to your site. The user does not have to give an email address or any identifiable information to you, and it's a one-click opt-in process. Once opted in, you can trigger abandoned cart notifications. If the user purchases, you can send over order information via web push. Through an integration, you can trigger product review requests. And then, of course, you can send out sales blast, blog post updates, and other updates through web push notifications. A few things to note, only the browser that you accept notifications from will receive the web pushes. Also, web push is not the same as mobile app notifications, although they can be similar if the user opts in from their phone. Competitive landscape. Push Owl is the current leader for web push notifications in the Shopify app ecosystem. There's another tool called Smart Push Marketing. Web push, which has some of the more basic functionalities and is completely free to use. So that's a great choice if you're a small, no budget store and Push Out does have a free forever version that is comparable to theirs. There are also a few enterprise solutions which are not made specifically for Shopify solutions. OneSignal, Aimtel, and Pushnami, to name a few. OneSignal is the overall market leader in push notifications, but I'd never go with them for e-commerce. Aimtel has custom co functionality for e-commerce, making it the most comparable. And Pushnami seems really cool for large enterprise companies, and it has robust machine learning capabilities that Pushall currently does not. Biggest differentiator. The ability to do out of inventory opt-ins, I think is probably the biggest differentiator here. The on-screen overlay is another great trick to help opt-ins, um, which is kind of like a, a regular pop-up box from a tool maybe like Privy, except it's sending the user to web push. Pushall also has segmentation capabilities based on the type of data available in Shopify, location data, purchase behavior, and a few other cool metrics. This is huge. Metric impact. The most important metric to uh, impact is first purchase conversion rate. This is typically going to be done through uh, retargeting push notifications. By having a user opted into web pushes, they will receive update messages and future sales promotions. So push out should also help with repeat purchases, the success of your sales campaign, and help av avoid those lower abandoned product rates with those out of stock opt-ins that we talked about already. Bottom line. Between three and 5% of web traffic will opt into a push notification, and this will help lower your abandoned product situations and abandoned uh, cart situations. Web push notifications can increase on-site conversion rates by 30 to 50% for the audience that opts in. Drawbacks. Right now, push notifications only work on Android, Safari, Mac OS, and Windows machines iOS most notably is not supported yet, but will be soon. That means right now, no iPhone, no uh, iPad situation, but it should uh, change very shortly here. Because of the nature of push notifications, they're sent to browsers and not users, which makes it hard to orchestrate omni-channel conversions and track back to the individual user uh, under certain circumstances like cross-device or if they went incognito or something like that. When should you use it? Web push is a serious conversion booster. Any new and growing store that can dedicate a small amount of time and resources to at least set up the abandoned cart and abandoned product uh, notifications should use push out or a similar tool. This is especially great for those stores that face advertising limitations from Facebook and Google, such as uh, maybe vape, CBD, certain health products, adult products, etc. When shouldn't you use it? Pushell is designed specifically for Shopify stores right now. So if you're on another e-commerce platform, maybe find another similar tool for that platform. If you're a small new store or kind of a side hustle deal and have no budget at all, consider the free forever plan or the free competitor if you're really not planning on growing your store anytime soon. But when you need more robust functionalities, you're gonna have to switch over to Pushell integrations. It integrates with JudgeMe, Farah AI, Stamped.io, Looks, PWA, Amplify Me, Grow Wave, now back in stock, which shows on the product page and allows you to subscribe uh, on email, Lightfy, Plobal Apps, and for the full list of integrations, I'll drop a link in the comment section below. Pricing. So they have really fair pricing, which is built by impression, which means the successful 
uh, sending of a of a web push notification, uh, and that's not based on subscribership, and that's because subscribership can sometimes become an illusion over time due to lost cookies and people not using certain browsers and stuff like that. There is a free plan, but it is impractical for most of their core functionality like abandoned cart, which uh, won't be active unless you're paying. For that reason, it will likely start you at a minimum of $19 a month with a 14 day free trial, which gets you everything you need to get started sending push notifications. All stores naturally start with zero subscribers, which typically means you don't need an enterprise solution right away. But if you are a larger store that's gonna grow this list very fast, then you can start at the 149 a month plan. Setup time and resources. Most likely it would be best off if you had one full-time marketer dedicated to using Pushout and your other channel marketing tools like email, messenger, SMS, etc. But if you don't have a dedicated person, that's still fine because it doesn't take more than really less than an hour to set the tool up. And then I might check in every week, maybe every month to push out sales notifications, make sure that our back in stock products are, be, are pushing out notifications properly and the like of that. Final thoughts. Pushout is a great tool to add a new marketing channel into the mix, increase conversion rates at a very marginal cost, and really improve your overall marketing machine. I do believe web push notifications are becoming a mandatory cornerstone of e-commerce today. Well, I know that some people have concerns about the value being provided to the user because this can be annoying and they're also getting really good at behavioral based triggers on when they ask for it so that it's not just the first thing that you see when you land on somebody's homepage. That is the future of push web push notifications. That's push out in five minutes or less. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If this app interests you, please do click on the partner link, which should be around here somewhere. And as always, you can book a totally free consultation with me, Derek Haney, to talk about your existing tech stack, how push out would fit into that stack and the other tools that might be missing uh, to fill in the gaps for your tech tool stack.